everybody, it's Deb here with Creative Life. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys are having a great day. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. It is time for my 5K subscriber giveaway. Now, I've been planning this since the beginning of the month, and um, I finally got everything down. And so I wanted to go over the rules. I wanted to tell you what the prizes are. And then I also wanted to go ahead and discuss what the requirements are. So here is my sheet of paper. And so I don't know if y'all can see everything that's on here. But I'm going to go ahead and share that with you. Okay. So, I've got a few prizes, you guys. I'm so excited. So, um, so the challenge, not the challenge. Um, so, the giveaway is going to start on today, which is January 22nd. Um, and it's going to end on March 3rd. So, that gives you plenty of time to place your entries in the giveaway okay and to send them to me so for you to send me your entries please email me at deb's creative life at yahoo.com and i will put that right here for you and you can email me uh, for my address so you can send in your entry and so let's go over the rules, you guys. So the rules are you, again, will um, PM me or email me for my address to send in your submission. Uh, you must be a visible subscriber. You must be 18 years and over. This is open to U.S. and international. If you are an international um, subscriber and you enter this, giveaway um i will give you the monetary uh of what the prize is because um you know posting postage is just way too expensive and so um i will gift you a monetary gift okay if you are out of country um, winners must claim their prizes within 72 hours or a new winner will be chosen okay so that is one of my um, requirements now the requirements uh, for this is um, you will make one of each item down below now I will place this uh, list I will go ahead and you know uh, do a photocopy of it and I will place it in my community chat okay or you know the community of my YouTube channel so you can go ahead and take a look at it anytime you want um, and I will also post this in my Mad Crafting Skills group, uh, so you can go ahead and grab it from there if you want to do that. And you can also join the Mad Crafting Skills uh, Facebook group. That is where I hold a lot of my swaps, and we share uh, crafty projects and ideas and all kinds of different things. And everybody is so awesome uh, there. It is a really nice place to go ahead and post all your projects. And things like that um, so the one thing that you'll make the first thing is a memory decks card okay and then you'll make three a set of three cards that are a two size okay it's just so your basic size of card and it can be any occasion it could be wedding sympathy it can be happy birthday it could be Mother's Day, Father's Day. It can be any type of card you want or just a regular hello card or friendship card or a just, you know, hi, how are you doing kind of card. Whatever you want to do. Um, I'm open to all cards. Um, you must make a pocket letter row. And what that entails is, um, I don't know. Let's see. I must have put it away. Hold on one second. A po if you've never heard of a pocket letter row, it's basically, now I'm just using this as my little show, okay, I'm not actually, this is, this is a whole one, but if you want to make a whole one, you are more than welcome to, I love them, and I always keep them, I just think they're so darling, and I love looking at them, so for a pocket letter row, you're basically going to cut a half, or one of these, 
off, okay, which is your half of your, your pocket letter, okay, and um, you're going to go ahead and just place three cards in there, and that's what a pocket uh, letter row is okay and then you'll just design it however you want you know um, I was going to do a theme uh, most of you know that I love um, I love spring and I love flowers and butterflies and birds and um, I love all that but um, I am game for anything that you feel you want to make like you're inspired by let's say summer or Christmas, if you're still doing Christmas stuff, if you want to do, um, you know, uh, Valentine's Day, if you're, if you're do if you're working with, um, you know, anything, you know, any, like, like I said, Valentine's, if you're working on that or Easter or spring stuff or, you know, um, I'm pretty, pretty game this time for anything, um, but, you know, just to let you know, I do love spring, and I am a pretty pastel -y person. I love happy colors. If they're bright and bold, I love happy colors. I love, um, you know, spring thing colors and pastels. So, if you like Disney and you want to do me a Disney pocket letter row or theme, I am game for that too. Okay, anything you want to do, I I absolutely am welcome to. Um, I just I love everything because I think think that that feeds us a lot of inspiration and everything to see what what others are inspired to make. So so I can't wait to see what you guys make. Um, so you will do the pocket letter row. Um, you will do an altered notebook. Now this notebook can be. Um, you know, either one of the composition notebooks that you get and you can just, um, you know, alter the front of it. It can be, um, it can be something like this. Hold on one second. Let me grab a couple of things here. Now, if you're into something like this, if you have something like this, you could definitely go ahead and alter the page here, have things in here. <laughs> But um, you could definitely alter the top part, part of this and send that to me. Um, if you have a small little vintage notebook, you can do vintage um, stuff, you know, and do that. And um, so a small notebook would be fine, too. Um, or if you want to do something more, you know, fancy or, you know, not fancy, but, you know, something more, you are more than welcome to make uh, a little trifold, little, um, uh, envelope, or, um, a little trifold, uh, little thing here that holds a pull out uh, notepad, you know, and it ha you know, can have pockets on the side, um, whatever you choose to do, I am happy with. So something that's altered that is a notebook, okay? The next thing that you're going to go ahead and do is a loaded envelope. And you can do, it's with your choice of three handmade embellishments. So uh, you could do uh, bows, flowers, um, you can make, <coughs> excuse me, little rosettes. You can do little clusters um, that are circles, and I think I've done a um, swap with that before, where we did little circles, and then we just built them up in little, into little clusters. Um, and so I have a few example things that you can send me in the envelope. Let me share the envelope with you. So this is a little pocket letter, or not a pocket letter, it is a little... <laughs> loaded envelope that I just did. It's super easy to make you guys and I'm going to do one for you here. So here you get one pocket here, you get another pocket here. So you got two pockets right here. Okay. And then you've got your large pocket. And if you wanted to, you could definitely do a pocket on the back. It's up to you. So this little pocket was super easy to make out of one 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Okay. And so I'm going to share with you how to make this super easy peasy. Um, and you can make your stuff and put it in here. Okay. Um, and if you do a larger notebook, you'll just, you know, go ahead and package your notebook with your loaded envelope. 
With your loaded envelope, again, you'll have three choices of handmade embellishments and or shakers, okay? Um, shaker bits are, you, you can include shaker bits if you want. Um, and uh, so here are some ideas, some bows. Here's some little flower clusters, okay? And this is what I was talking about, that you could just go ahead and do these little clusters. You just... Um, punch out a circle or a flower and you just build them up and these are just so I can stick them on my um, cards or I could stick them on my um, pages my scrapbook pages or whatever something like that um, I had okay here's another one so this was actually a swap that was sent to me and um, the person put inside some die cuts and um, they put in a, a bunch of die cuts. This must have been a die cut swap. <laughs> so there's that. Um, they made some bows. Okay, so there's some bows there. Um, there are some little tiny um, what do you call, uh, paper or clips. And then she also sent me uh, some little ribbon on here. So you could definitely send anything like that. Okay. And so there's that. Um, and you can send, like I said, you can send die cuts if you want to. Um, you can send um, your embellishments would be more like, you know, like your flowers, your clusters, your bows, um, things like that. Okay. So that would be part of your embellishments. And then you can also send lace okay and then your shaker bits so here's like some shaker bit mix that i made and you can send that okay so there's that and then um you have to include a store-bought gift now your store-bought gift doesn't have to be grandeur okay it can be um some ephemera okay these were 2.99 over at tuesday morning when it was open um, but it could be, it can be some ephemera, it could be a small die, um, it can be some chipboard pieces. Um, they have some chipboard pieces over at the Dollar Tree, they have chipboard pieces over at, I think that Target I saw some. Um, you can buy, um, it, you know, you could send, um, you know, a, just a store-bought gift. It doesn't have to be expensive or anything um a store-bought gift like a die you know um it can be um you know uh just anything anything you know a stack of papers um you know uh, something like that um something that you would want to receive for yourself if you you know because you're a crafter you know what i like <laughs> you know, so so that kind of thing and that would just fit right in your little um, loaded envelope okay so that is exactly uh, those are the requirements for this 5k subscriber giveaway all right again a memory decks card cards a set of three for any occasion that are a regular size a2 size card um, and a pocket letter row okay uh, uh, altered notebook, a loaded envelope with your three, with your choice of three handmade embellishments, flowers, you know, bows, clusters, um, you know, anything. And then you can send extras if you want. Like you can send shaker bits, you can send ribbon, um, you can send um, lace, um, anything like that. And then a small store-bought gift, okay? So, um, now the sponsors, you guys, to win you, this is not going to be a point system, okay? This is actually going to be um, people, everybody's name is going to go in a pot, okay? And the person who wins the first prize will get the Pixie Dust Designs set of dies. And I already have them here. And then My Crafting World also sent me a set of dies. Stephen Duncan, who is a graphic designer for Echo Park, 
has graciously agreed to sponsor me and he is going to give you a paper collection now that paper collection will be coming from him okay and i am going to send him your name if you win and then renee bouquet is also going to sponsor me i'm so happy and she is giving a 20 dollars gift card to her shop again i will email your name to her uh Clear Scraps is giving away a Memory Dex box with dividers. Now, you guys have seen the Memory Dex box that I created. It is the friendship box that I just did. And I will put the link right here in the video and after the video. So you can take a look at that. And then... Um, Trace Jolie is also going to sponsor me and she's giving away something, a gift card for her shop. And Tiffany McGill is giving away a Stampin' Up! gift package. So, um, and then I do have one more. I'm waiting for an answer from one more person and, um, and then I will add them to the list. So there will be two, four, six, eight chances for, there will be a ch eight people who are sponsoring um, my giveaway and you have eight chances to win. So I'm super excited, you guys. I am so over the top thrilled about making 5k and I just want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I, um, I'm just really excited, you guys, you know, so I just wanted to, um, go ahead and share that with you and let you all know that we will be uh, doing this starting today all the way through March 3rd. So if you have any questions, please message me or email me and let me know. Again, I will put my email here for you at the bottom of the video in the description box will be my email and so you can email me so let's go ahead and i'm going to share with you how to make this super fast little um loaded envelope okay so um what you're going to do is you're going to grab a 12 by 12 sheet of paper okay and again this is just one that i had in my stash okay you're going to score this 12 by 12 sheet of paper at three and a quarter. Super, super fast envelope, you guys. Turn it around, score again at three and a quarter. Get your top, turn it around, and score at three and three quarters. Okay? So now you have a score line here, here, and then on the bottom. Okay? Next, we're going to go ahead and fold these in. And you're going to fold this one up. Go ahead and burnish that down just like that. All right. And then you're going to go ahead and grab the part up here. You're just going to go ahead and fold those down. Now, you don't have to if you don't want to. You can always do something else to make your opening. So, you're going to go ahead and down. Just like that. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and put tape here so we can close that up. So I'm just going to grab my half inch tape here. I'm going to go ahead and set it at the bottom of my little flap here. Okay. So I'm setting it here and I'm just going to go all the way down. Fold this over, just like so, okay, and you've got your little flap here, okay, now you've got this part. Now, what I did is I took my one inch strips, and some of you know that I love doing this. <laughs> I don't, I, I, I try to utilize all of my scraps. 
Okay, so I would have more room on my pocket, okay, um, right in through here because see how if once you glue this down, there's like not a lot of space there, right? So I went ahead and took my strip, okay, and I just used glue. You can use your whatever, you know, whatever you would like. I just used my glue and I went ahead and took your fold put it at the edge of your little pocket here okay and I'm going to make sure that it's on the edge there Oops. okay just like that and it's going to fold over just like that okay I'm going to cut that away just like that and then I'm going to do the same thing over here I'm just going to put my glue down and you can use tape if you want to get make sure your fold is at the edge of your pocket here that way you have two pockets okay and then just clip that away and then you can go ahead and glue that down And just go ahead and bring that in, burnish that down, burnish that down. Just like that. And now you've got a nice pocket here. You've got a pocket here. Okay, so you've got a pocket, two pockets up front, and then you've got this pocket here. Now you can always make a pocket in the back if you want to, and or if you want to, you can definitely make a larger loaded envelope, okay? And I'll bring one over to share with you real quick. Here is a larger loaded envelope. Now this was actually gifted to me, <laughs> so I still have it, you guys. So pretty. So here's a larger loaded envelope, okay? And um, this person did a pocket here, here, and then did a big pocket on the inside, okay? On the other side, she did, it's kind of, I, I kind of took some stuff off of here, you guys. <laughs> she did a little pocket on the other side too. So, but this is a, a loaded envelope, and usually they have like a pocket here and a pocket here. Um, oh, here's one. Here is one that is also a big one. And um, here is one where it has um, pockets. Take some of this stuff out. So here's a pocket down here. And then here is a pocket here. Okay. And then here is a big pocket. Now this is actually, um, is that 12? It's close to 12, yeah. It's about 12 inches by 9 inches. And you are more than welcome to make a bigger one. I usually um, display the big ones around my, my craft room because I just love them so much. And they're just, they're just so pretty. So I usually display them. And then this one here is a smaller one. Now this one here, I believe is uh, six, um, eight. It's almost eight inches, eight and a quarter by five and a half. Okay. And that's made with just one 12 by 12. Now this one here is made with um, a couple of sheets of paper. But like I said, you are more than welcome to make a large one or a small one. Um, either one is fine. And then, of course, you're going to make your little three handmade embellishments for me and then send me a store-bought gift, um, the memory decks card, and um, a set of three cards, and then a pocket letter row with an altered notebook. So I hope that you guys um, get a chance to join my 5k giveaway i'm super excited and i just can't wait to see who wins the prizes you guys <laughs> super excited so 
tons of prizes, tons of fun. And again, it goes from now till uh, March 3rd. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you guys have a great week. I will talk to you soon. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me. Thank you guys again. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks for joining me today, y'all. Don't forget that down here in both of these corners, I have some more fun crafty videos for you to view. And don't forget to hit that bell for future notifications on all upcoming live shows, tutorials, videos, and more.